for personalized astrology reports and interesting blogs make sure you click on my original and correct website and that's www.vedicoraclebykadamri.com what's up everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video we'll be analyzing the placement of planet saturn in the second house so let's begin The second house of a horoscope represents wealth and that's why it's known as the Dhana Bhava which means the house of wealth. Therefore, second house is the house of your accumulated wealth, materialistic possessions and resources. It is also the house of family, food, speech, facial features. Also, this house represents your childhood your family background, how you were raised as a child and what kind of environment you actually got by your, by your family, what kind of nourishment, what kind of atmosphere was provided by your family. Planet Saturn is the planet of delays, restrictions and limitations. It's a planet which represents duties responsibilities justice okay and this planet actually rules the 10th house and the 11th house of a horoscope so wherever Saturn goes it always indicates your reputation it always indicates your work and what kind of work would give you a social reputation so yes Saturn always indicates your career before you analyze this placement of Saturn in the second house, remember that you have to consider a few other things. Firstly, the Rashi placement of planet Saturn. How the Saturn works in that particular Rashi. Which planet rules your second house and where it is placed. Number three, you have to check out two places away from your natal moon. What is the situation of that house? And lastly, you have to see your Dhana Yogas, if, if there are any sort of Dhana Yogas in your horoscope. And all these things have to be considered while you're analyzing your financial situation. So let's talk about facial features first, because the second house is the house of your face, right? Just like the first house, Saturn in the second house can give you very prominent facial features prominent cheekbones prominent temples and uh, a sharp or you can say a very prominent jawline also um, the second house represents your uh, right eye so yes Saturn in the second house can give you a weak right eye or some sort of uh, vision problems also, this placement can uh, give hyperpigmentation on your face. The, the whole uh, positive point about this placement is that your looks eventually gets better with age. You will look more and more beautiful, you know, as you will reach to an older age and uh, it also gives you a kind of a very mature and serious look on your face very early in life. But yes, you know, um, this placement makes you more and more good looking and smart and beautiful with time. The second house is also the house of speech. So Saturn in the second house kinds of restricts your speech. But that doesn't mean that you won't be able to express yourself or there is some sort of defective speech. It just means that you might have a very reserved nature. And you are already aware of the fact that, you know, other people have their own perspective, right? They see what they want to see. They talk what they want to talk. And you feel that there is no need 
of giving clarifications to other people. So it is very difficult to provoke you with this placement. You might not feel it that it is quite necessary to clarify yourself or express your views. For you, your views, your thoughts are very important. You respect those things. But you, you are kind of afraid that people won't accept your thoughts, they won't accept your views. Also, this restriction of speech happens mostly during the childhood. But once you reach the age of 28, 29, your speech enhances. But again, it remains minimalistic. You talk minimal, but that whatever you talk, whatever you say is quite firm and effective. It completely delivers your message in the right manner. The second house of a horoscope has a lot to do with childhood and family environment. But Saturn in the second house indicates that you have been grown up in a very restrictive environment where a lot of rules and regulations were imposed on you. You were unable to behave or work according to your wish. From your food to finance, everything was decided by your family members or parents. And um, it also indicates that your family might have undergone uh, a great financial crisis and that all these things have made you much more concerned about money and for you saving money is the most important aspect of your life also these restrictions and rules have affected a lot on your speech and all these things have made you more of a very mature person very early in life and also a very reserved person. I have seen many people with this placement who can stay hungry for a long, long time. They can literally starve themselves. And why do they skip meals and starve themselves? Due to their work commitments. But Saturn in the second house makes one workaholic. The entire uh, focus, the entire attention is towards making money they always want to save money they always want to focus on accumulating more and more of wealth and their concern makes them workaholic they're much more focused towards their work and for that they can completely skip their meals they can starve themselves for the whole day and also they don't like to spend a lot of money on their food they really want to go for some cheap and affordable food and they don't have a very um, a refined taste for exotic things. They can just go for anything on their table which is affordable. Lastly, how does this placement of Saturn in the second house can affect your wealth and finances? Well, it's a planet of restriction and delays, of course. So yes, it restricts and delays the accumulation of wealth. And there are two reasons for it. Number one, even though you are a workaholic, you're a very hardworking person, super talented, highly intelligent, and you're really putting a lot of efforts on your work, but you won't be able to reap the fruits of that hard work. Saturn is restricting you in that arena okay you won't get what you are actually expecting or what you deserve secondly your family background your family might have undergone a very big financial crisis and your family is unable to give you a financial support so there are two reasons for financial troubles but these financial troubles you know continues till the age of 30 and after 30 things improve gradually and Saturn in the second house doesn't mean that you will remain poor or you may suffer financial troubles forever and ever it's still the age of 30 and after 30s Saturn in the second house is a brilliant placement firstly it gives you the talent to save money it 
gives you an attitude okay where you actually know the value of money you respect money in today's world it's very necessary to understand the true value of money there is a need to save it and also spend it very wisely and saturn in the second house give these brilliant capabilities of saving the money and spending it quite wisely also in the second house it gives a very uh, regular or sustained inflow of wealth and money it can make you a millionaire trust me saturn in the second house never means like scarcity of wealth forever and ever it teaches you the true value of wealth it teaches you what is the importance of money in life if your second house saturn is associated with planets like jupiter or venus it tends to improve your financial situation if saturn is associated with the rahu then it exponentially increases your desire to accumulate wealth also it can give you wealth in in a in a very contrasting manner like for some periods of your life you will earn a lot of money but followed by that period there will be times in your life when you won't be able to earn much okay so a lot depends upon how your second house saturn is associated to other planets whether it's aspected by any other planet and which planet rules the second house everything has to be considered from the second house planet saturn aspects the fourth eighth and the 11th house fourth house is the house of mother and home when saturn aspects the fourth house it can give indifferences with mother it indicates restrictive environment at your home or it just indicates that you will take the responsibilities of your family affairs your home affairs very early in life saturn gives its seventh aspect on the eighth house which indicates great interest in ancient knowledge occult sciences you want to explore this world of occult knowledge to find out the true essence of living you want the answers about your existence and that's why you want to explore the ancient knowledge the occult sciences also it indicates um, sudden changes in your life your life won't go in a, like a linear fashion there will be sudden changes and these changes will take you to your purpose okay these changes will help you to realize who you are and now saturn gives its 10th aspect on the 11th house which is the house of your social network and friends so the the biggest problem with this placement is that saturn is in the second house it makes you a very reserved person with a very limited and restricted speech and this leads to a very small group of friends very limited number of friends because for other people it's quite difficult to understand you okay it's very difficult for them to understand your true nature because you are a very reserved person and that's why it tends to limit the number of friends it limits the um that social connection so guys this was all about saturn in the second house and if you like this video do put a thumbs up till then goodbye